Hello everyone, I'd like to present you a brand new feature of UA MIDI control, which is the ability to use Mackie control, the protocol to control console. So I have in front of me an X-Touch from Behringer, which is Mackie control enabled, and we'll see how this maps to console. So now you can see that the first eight faders are connected to the first eight channels in console. The last one is the master channel. And of course we can control the mute, solo, um, and the record on each channel. Um, we're now on the instrument encoder page, which shows us the gains. So now we're controlling the gains for the instruments. If we go to the next one, to the plugins, we see here the inserts. Now this is showing the inserts on the selected channel. So now we're on channel two. If you go to channel one, we see the inserts on channel one and so on. So let's let's go ahead and change something. Um, for example, we go on insert two, which is empty. We can go ahead and scroll to the plugins. Uh, the cool thing is you only see the plugins that you have authorized or you are demoing. So you are not have to deal with all the plugins that you're not interested in. So we can just click to open it and we can go ahead and open the window and see what we're controlling there is shown in the VPOT faders. So we have level here. We can see it on the plugin that is changing. And we can also go through the plugin pages. and control all the parameters we want. We can also scroll through presets. And of course, if we want to unload the plugin, we can go to the leftmost selection of the plugin and click, which will unload the plugin, saving some DSP, which we all need. Um, Let's go to the next section, which is the sense. This as well works with the selected channel. So now we're on channel one. We're controlling the sense on channel one. Um, we can go on channel two, control the sense on channel two. Um, if we'd like at any time, we can use the flip function, which flips the V pots with the faders. So now we're controlling the sense with the faders, which might be more intuitive. We can also go back if we'd want to. The next section is the EQ, which um, in console translates to the preamp. So now we see everything from the preamp that we can control again on the selected channel. So let's go ahead and change something in the preamp section. We can change low cut, the phase, pad and everything else. Mm, we can also go in the unison and do the same things as we saw in the insert section. Select the plugin, it will only show the um, unison plugins. We loaded something, we open up the window and then we go ahead and play around. Let's unload this. Go back. Um, the next section is the pan. So we can just control the pan on each channel. Um, in case we have a um, stereo channel, like on channel three I have here, we are controlling the left pan by default. If we want to control the right pan, we use the scroll. We scroll once to the right, and then we see the right pan. So quite handy. And then the last part is the track, which is just showing us the track names and the volume. So pretty simple. We can also see this if we'd want in other pages, if we touch the fader. So we're in the pants, but if we touch the fader, we see the volumes instead. So it helps us know what we're actually doing with the faders. Uh, we can also go through different views. We have 
MIDI tracks, which is just virtual inputs, uh, ADAT, and anything that doesn't have a preamp. We have inputs, which are all inputs. We have instruments, the instruments with the inputs which have preamps, basically. The aux, <clears throat> we see our aux channels, and outputs. So we have, I have two devices here, so I see two outputs. And one of them is my main one. As you can see it's connected to the main monitor. Yeah, apart from that, there are some shortcuts here. For example, global mute, so monitor mute. We have talk back here. You can also use the alt inputs if you have any. This will be your monitor alt, alt in, output, sorry. And these two will be your alternative one and two outputs. Before I go, I'd like to also quickly show how to set up a Mackey device in UA MIDI control. So you'd have to go to preferences, the MIDI tab, and from your inputs, from your devices, select your Mackey device. In my case, this is Xtouch int, not the Xt, Mackey control, and then you select the order. So if you have more Mackey devices, for example, you have an extender, you could select that extender and you can select the order. And some extenders will require the X XT property selected. You will notice that on some devices, the screen will not be showing anything. So in, in that case, just enable that, that option. Uh, it doesn't apply for all extenders, so you'll have to see. With the X touch, it definitely does apply. And I think also the classic MCU. Yeah, thank you very much for watching and um, let me know how it's working with your Mackie device and if you have any issues or improvements, you can leave a comment below and thank you very much and see you next time.